Hello boys and girls, welcome to a new IGCSE physics video. In this video, we'll talk about whether we should draw the line to the origin in paper 6. Thanks Roman Rain SX for raising this question. And the answer is very obvious, it depends. That's why we need to make a video for that. Okay, let's look at some example here so you understand more. Uh, here is a code that you can check out uh, the questions. I assume you know how to do that. And this question, they ask you about the temperature and the time here. And the time start at zero, and while the temperature is basically this one. So um, obviously, this one you don't need to connect it to the origin. Okay, next question. Also 2015, but time zone 2. And this question is something about the light because uh, you can see the angles here. And you can also see that the coordinate for this one uh, is already showing not 0, 0. So you don't, of course, don't need to connect it to the origin. Next question is also 2015 uh, time zone 3 instead and it's something about the circuit you can tell and the question asks us about a graph on r resistant against l uh, which means the length of the resistance y here i'm pretty sure that you have seen similar experiment before um, the thing is uh, you have got a table and you are going to use the ohm's law to figure out the number of r uh, at the same time uh, they will ask you to draw the graph and if you look at the mass scheme they actually did not say whether you should connect it to the origin so I would say uh, in general uh, uh, well actually I have seen uh, quite, a, quite a lot of questions similar questions in paper 6 so um, I've never seen that they want us to draw to the origin so I would say in IGCSE it's not really necessary to draw it to the origin at all time. Uh, simply just follow all the coordinates they they given, usually given in the uh, table here. However, I said it depends, right? So what I mean is, uh, although I always talk about a lot of um, exam-oriented skills or um, tips, but at the same time, I do still believe um, how we do science is also important. So here, the logical thinking behind whether we should join uh, the origin is very simple. Basically, when you say origin is 0, 0 uh, as coordinate. So what you need to think about is simply uh, to identify when your XL, in this case, the length is 0, whether or not resistant is also zero here so um, I think the answer is very simple if you think about this when you join the wire at zero uh, length of course the resistance is zero so in this question is certainly okay uh, to do uh, to connect the line to the origin let's look at some more examples before I tell you the answers for this question, how about you pause the video and think about it? Okay, so I think um, you've got your own answer already. So very simple, once again, you need to think about whether when A is zero, whether or not B is also zero, if they ask you to draw the graph of B against A. So um, if you look at this, uh, A is simply this distance, and B is simply this distance. And when A is zero, B certainly must be zero in order to uh, balance the whole ruler here. So uh, once again, it's certainly fine to draw it through the origin. And once again, uh, in terms of the exam, they did not uh, specify whether we need to draw it through the origin. So it's really up to you. Okay, one more question. Let's pause the video and I will tell you the answer later. Okay, so the answer is uh, once again, think about whether when the low is a uh, zero Newton, the L here, here that means the uh, this one is zero CM. And the answer is no, because if you think about that, 
when there's no low obviously yes it should be shortened however this L is the total length of the spring and therefore uh, it will not be zero very obviously uh, by the way if you try to draw this graph I mean you need to when you do this question uh, plotting L against L uh, you will find something look like this probably at last when you draw the line of best fit and if you try to extend the line to the y-axis here you will find this y-intercept as what as the original length of the spring so let's go back to our original uh, question on the specimen paper let's look at the question again so this is something about balancing uh, the objects again and it's something about the moment this is a table they ask you to fill in and the graph they ask you to plot the y axis is the mass which is this one and the x axis is 1 over d which has the d as the distance between the pivot to the mass so the question once again is whether when these equal to 0 the mass should equal to 0 uh, this is a bit tricky here because if you think about that 1 over d when 1 over d equals to 0 that means mathematically d tends to infinity and that means the mass will be put to infinite far end well not here but infinite far end of the ruler and the mass should it be zero yes I would say it well it should not be zero but close to zero in order to have a moment that is uh, enough to balance with the low X on the other side here um, but I would say it will become very unrealistic uh, to consider that and therefore I would if I were you I would try to avoid that in the exam for this question for sure so here you have it now you know whether or not you should draw the line to the origin and if you find this video useful please drop the like button and ask me more questions